May I? Please, be my guest. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Look. Hi, I'm Danny. I'm Keaton. And, and we're, we're Daisy, Daisy Grenade. Grenade. And we're here with Adobe Radio. We're gonna play Truth, Truth or, or Darts. Are we doing it? <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be bad. Oh, oh that's pretty good. Right. I just pull it out. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. What's the cringiest thing you've done to get your crush's attention? <laughs> I don't know if I, I, it was an accident. I wasn't trying to get my crush's attention, but it was in like third grade and I had a crush on this kid, Jason, and I was drinking water, a water bottle and then I went up to him to talk to him and he made me laugh and I spit the entire water bottle out in his face. So that definitely got his attention. I'm doing a lot of cringy shit. Posting cryptic songs on my close friends and putting someone on my close friends is like, oh really yeah. Bad. The amount of times I've quoted like Blink-182 lyrics on my like Facebook status yeah, to try totally. to like get someone be like. Okay, that sucked. Okay. Oh, God. Ah, what's the most embarrassing thing that's happened to you on stage? Oh, I got one. You and I? <gasps> Did you not think I, I was going to I like, absolutely didn't remember okay, it. Okay, first time we're doing emo night, I'm wearing this top, right, that clips in the front. And it's like a little like bra top, super cute. It was during the anthem by Good Charlotte. I threw my hands up, top on clips, just flashed the entire audience. It was really embarrassing, but then I said, if anyone did see my boobs, you will have to Venmo me $20. We nobody, didn't get any money. Nobody did, so hopefully nobody saw, but I would do it if it were on purpose, but the fact that I did it on accident was so bad. <laughs> I think my most embarrassing um, thing that's happened to me on stage was when your when your top broke at Emo. <laughs> <laughs> go go go! Come on, that was beautiful. What's the weirdest fan interaction you've had? The camping. Oh my <laughs> god! I would have completely forgot about that. It was the camping? These two know. dudes, like, they're probably like they're probably like teenagers. They came up to us at the merch table. I think it was after a water park show. What did they say? They were like, they like weren't even asking us about the set, the music, us. They were literally like, "What's your weirdest, weirdest camping, camping story? story?" And we were like, "What?" I was like, "I don't know. I don't really go camping." And then they said, <laughs> "What was the follow up?" <laughs> the follow up just ludicrously was, do you think they should bring lobotomies back? And I was like, you gotta go. <laughs> I was like, you gotta, you gotta, gotta, you gotta go. Done. We have a code word though for when we're at the merch table and we're not we, gonna tell you what it is. We're not gonna tell you what it is for what we need to get pulled away. I was one of those. Yeah. I'm sorry I laughed at when your boobs came out. It's okay. <laughs> is there, <laughs> I don't know. Is there a lyric of your own you wish you could change? Probably. No, they're all perfect. <laughs> and that's what I'll say. <laughs> Uh-oh, it's a ripper. If you had the power to change one thing in the music industry, what would it be? Yo! First thing that comes to mind for me is like streaming and like cuts yeah. for artists and just yeah. making the whole platform of streaming more beneficial for artists and financially yeah. beneficial for artists. Cause right now it's not great. <laughs> I would make ticket prices more accessible. Yo! So that everyone can see their favorite artists. We want to do that so bad. We want to get to a point where we can just be like, and anybody who wants to come to this show can afford it. Five dollars. Yeah. What's your guilty pleasure TV show? Diners, drive-ins, and dives. Next. Oh, so <laughs> easy. Oh, I'm like a Bravo TV girly. So anything on Bravo. I'm like a huge Vanderpump stan. The new spinoff of Vanderpump is called The Valley, and it's really good. And that would, that's all of that is my guilty pleasure. It's beautiful. Thank you. I support you. Thanks. Hey, that was nice of you. Every single one of these. Wow! <laughs> it was on the board. We all love this. Have you ever had a paranormal experience? No! And I want to! It's all I want, and it's because I want it so bad that it's absolutely never gonna happen to me. I literally, I seek it out, I try so hard, I do everything I can to make it happen, and it just won't happen. I've had a few. What the hell? Sorry. I don't want them, that's why. Well, I, I don't welcome it. I know. I do not claim this energy. <laughs> I was in New Orleans in a hotel room, and of course we were in room 665, and they don't have 666, and I was like, great. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, this rocks. It's over. <laughs> so I like, I've never had sleep paralysis. I've heard everyone talk about it, but I've never had it. And I like woke up, my eyes were open. I was like, I'm, I'm awake, but I cannot move. And there was just a dude standing in the corner with his back to me. And I, he started turning around and I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> and, um, and that was it. And then I looked it up. We like grass in the hotel desk. Apparently there was like a guy that haunts and then three little girls. And I was like, you know what? I'm just glad I didn't get three little girls. I'm good with that guy. We're cool. We have something going on here. You were chilling here. Yeah, have a relationship. Good. That's yeah, good. it was really, really scary. I'm but so jealous. No. Why? I want to see ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> We're 
were talking about this last night. First album you bought. Oh shit. I know one of them was Ella Funk by the Black Eyed Peas. And mine was Fergalicious. <laughs> like, that shit rips. Absolutely. Still does. <laughs> Who is your dream artist to collab with? Youngblood. Give me that Youngblood yeah. collab. Actually, I'm gonna rephrase. Youngblood for serious, and and for more serious, DJ Polly D. Probably Austin Knight for serious, and then like Pitbull for more serious. Myra Chapel Run, that would be like. Oh my god, yeah, yeah. We have so many. I've been dying for a young bug collab forever. I've never met him, and I want to meet him so bad. So if you're watching this, hit me up. <laughs> Austin, we've met. You're a really nice guy. Austin, we know you. <laughs> if you want to collab, up. we're here. <laughs> DJ Pauly D, if you're around. Pitbull. I'm sorry I made fun of your boobs coming out. It's all good, dude. I brought it up. Thanks, man. <laughs> that was a good clap. That was. Once in a lifetime. <laughs>